Today I'm going to do a look at my glass star from X-Fly and shoot some landings and takeoffs. So let's get up first. The glass star from X-Fly then is a 1200mm wingspan high wing RC airplane. It runs on 3S batteries. In my experience, it is a quite good flying RC airplane. I wouldn't say that this is the most easiest one to fly, but it's uh, it's easy enough, uh, and it's not the most agile one. So compared to something like the FMS Super Ease with a similar size, I think the Super Ease flies lighter and easier and more agile. But I mean, you can surely just toss this one around the sky. Uh, just remember to keep up speed because if you do slower aerobatics, this one becomes squirrely. Uh, and you know, it's, there's something about the design that just makes uh, it lose uh, lift capabilities. So uh, I put some red tape on my wings because I think an all white, white RC airplane uh, is more difficult to orientate. And of course, today I have a really nice blue sky, but if I had uh, like a sky with uh, lots of clouds or just a white sky it would should disappear so as you can see you can uh, go around and do most things you do with other high wing RC airplanes and during my maiden flight I did actually do a crash nothing else but the prop broke so I have another prop, which is a little bit longer, a little bit more aggressive, but uh, it doesn't influence flight time or performance. So let's get it down then, the first landing. And I know this one can bounce, so... Yeah, as you can see, it, it does really bounce because these tires... Uh, they do bounce on, on landing, so let's get it down once more then and I really have to grease the landings for this one to avoid any bouncing so you get it down and just have a nice flaring so that's much better and you can see that it still does bounce after the uh, touchdown so any rough things on your landing strip is going to influence this one so another landing then I mean uh, I think I'm doing this quite quite smooth but uh, it surely will bounce with these tires I also found out the, that the landing gear they do splay out when you bounce so I mean it, it's surely possible to get this one down without bouncing but also I mean if you just missed it by a little bit and you have a too steep approach it will bounce on you so I mean, I can do it really smooth, but today I have no wind, so it's much easier. If you have wind, you it's much more probability that you will actually plop it down, and then it will bounce more. So another landing then. So it does help to, to put one wheel down first, instead of uh, both at the same time. When you have speed, it's a really uh, steady flying RC airplane. I think it looks good. It's um, not too detailed, but in the air it doesn't really matter if you have scale details because you will never see them. But then again, I think the Super Easy is a better RC airplane overall. They have like a couple of minus degrees Celsius and it's frost on the ground. So I'm using electric gloves just to heat up my fingers because that's the problem when you uh, do early morning flight and when it's cold and you really 
freeze your fingers. So these gloves have really helped me at least to uh, stay a little bit warmer. Well, this is my favorite time of the day, you know, morning, almost uh, nobody else outside you and your RCL playing. So let's get it down again then. See if I can avoid some bouncing. No, I have to go around. I mean, this RCL plane feels a little bit heavy when you come in to land. So it's a little bit more tricky just to flare just in the right angle of attack. Uh, if you do like like this, you just botch the landing. I mean, it will bounce. Of course, the RCL plane will survive, but it's not too pretty looking. So let's get it down once more then. See if I can get this one to avoid some bouncing. Oh, I mean, if I have a, like this really bad steep angle of attack, I mean, it will just bounce like crazy. So you really have to grease it and it, it actually does actually help to put one wheel down first. So this is my glass star then from the X-Fly. It's an okay flying r and it's not my favorite. It looks nice, so these tires and landing gears do splay out. So, I mean, um, uh, there are better r planes, but uh, it's a, it flies good, this one.